do need a little time to dry out there for a bit. Now we want to switch gears entirely. There is a hauntingly beautiful exhibit at the Museum of Jewish Heritage that's almost a must-see. It's called Against the Odds, American Jews and the Rescue of Europe's Refugees, 1933 to 1941. Between those years, thousands of Jews sought haven in the U.S. This exhibit tells their stories and how their calls for help were answered. Joining us to talk more about it is Anita Kassoff, Deputy Director of the Museum of Jewish Heritage. Welcome, Anita. Thank you. It's nice to be here. So what does the exhibit actually show? The exhibit shows the story of American Jews who responded, as you said, to this call for help uh, from refugees who were trying to get here during the Nazi period. It includes a number of documents that they would have had to put together to complete their applications, which are was rather an arduous process. Original photographs, um, large-scale photo murals and projections, and most interestingly, a, a really beautiful design by CNG Partners here in New York, whom we work with, who created paper walls to signify the bureaucratic hurdles and the paperwork that these people had to overcome in order to come to the United States. At that time in history, open emigration had ended and the status of refugee wasn't really even factored in. So it was very difficult for people to get into the country. What were some of the things they had to do in order to try to even apply to come here? You're exactly right. In the 1920s, U.S. immigration laws had ended the period of open immigration. Um, they didn't distinguish between refugees and immigrants. So anyone who was in flight from persecution had to apply for a regular U.S. immigration visa, and they were required to identify an American sponsor who would vouch that they wouldn't become dependent on public funds once they came to the United States. Remember, this was during the Depression um, when these refugees were trying to come here, and there was a great fear that, that they would compete for jobs with Americans. So these people had to identify individuals here in the United States who were willing to sponsor them. They reached out to family, friends, even strangers, and Against the Odds tells the story of the people who responded. So that must make for some very interesting stories in this exhibit, because people here who were suffering on their own, who had a hard time making ends meet, or were perhaps fearful of losing their own businesses, if they had any, mm -hmm. had to agree to take in someone from abroad and support them. So, so how did they get in touch? Uh, well, one of the most remarkable stories in the exhibition is the story of Eric Zeisel, the Austrian composer, and his family. Um, they wanted to escape from Austria after uh, Germany invaded and annexed it. Um, they knew no one in the United States. So Eric Zeisel's wife got a hold of a New York telephone book and looked for anybody who shared their surname. She came across someone named Morris Zeisel. She wrote to him, thinking perhaps they were related. They turned out not to be related, but he was a plumber from Brooklyn. He wrote back immediately and said he would be happy to sponsor them. He would do whatever is in his power, was in his power, to help them. And indeed, he issued them an affidavit of support. Um, they made it safely to the United States with their family, and both the affidavit and his letter to them are in the exhibition. It sounds like a wonderful exhibition. How long does it last? It will be up for about another year until next spring. Okay. Thank you so much. My Look pleasure. forward to seeing it. Thanks.